perverting the course of justice. Certain times it's best to keep your nose out of other people's rascal out business. Certain times a tiny bit of peer pressure will land you in a lot of trouble, as you will soon find out. So let me just break down something about the area I'm from. I'm from Edmonton, split into two different postcodes. N18, which is Upper Edmonton, N9, which is Lower Edmonton. That's where I'm from. In my area, there was two separate gangs. We're all on the same team. We're all allies. We all got beef with Tottenham. We don't even know why we got beef with Tottenham, but we got beef with Tottenham. We don't even understand the origins of this thing, like a lot of youths out here. We just know they don't like us and we don't like them. Maybe the origins of this thing might have been over a gal in a club. Or I heard one youth back in the day came down from Tottenham to clash someone in Edmonton on Bouncers Road and he got punched up in Axe FM. Who knows what the real origins of this thing was. But anyway, we just know we got beef with Tottenham youths and that. We flag green. Get me, that's why I got this hoodie. Man bought it 13 years ago when I was 17 to rep my thing. In my area, obviously, man's born and bred here, innit? Yeah, man know everyone. If I didn't know you, it's probably because you was a nobody. If you didn't know me, it's probably because you was a nobody, innit? So man knew everyone in my area that was a significant person. And in every area, there's always like little in-house politics and that. Like even in one gang, you could have in-house politics and that. Like me, I was literally, I'd beef with some of my brethren and that. I'm going to my friend's house uh, to beef him over a bike and, and he wants to come out with a knife and his older brother has to hold it back and that. Man's had other brethren come at man and that, like, because, get me, they're talking too much, I'll punch him in their face. So, man's had a little beef even, like, within my friendship circles and that, like, who, uh, other gang members as well. Yeah. So, anyway, two separate gangs in my area, we're all the same team, basically. We all got beef with the same people, innit? And look at in-house politics. One time... Uh, three men from one of the gangs must have beat up one youth from one of the other gangs, innit? And they beat him up and they took his bike, innit? So it happened at the train station. And because it happened at the train station, British Transport Police got involved. They tried to say it was a robbery because the youth snitched. The police were saying, oh, it's a robbery. They uh, took his bike and they beat him up and stuff. No, they beat him up because they had beef with him and they happened to just take his bike. Like, Imagine you got beef with someone, you're beating them up. Your intention is to move to them because you got beef with them. If their chain drops on the floor, man's going to grab that. If they got a knife, but man's going to take that, innit? Yeah, my intention wasn't to rob you, it was to beat you up. But boy, if I take a souvenir with me, then you understand, innit? So anyway, the man in that I know, three man that I know beat up one you, or two man that I know beat up one you, took his bike. I know the other you as well. Like I said, man, I know everyone in the area. So the you that got beaten up, the quote-unquote victim, he ain't no victim, he run his mouth, innit? Yeah, man caught him, innit? He decided to snitch on them and that. Because certain man, certain man can't take an L. Certain man know, okay, I've taken this L and I can't get them back as well. So, you know, my, my, my best bet is to just snitch on them and that. So, he grasped them up. They got nicked for a robbery. It wasn't a robbery. They beat him up and took his bike, innit? They got nicked for a robbery and that. And obviously, because I know, because they know me and obviously, I, they know that I know the you and that. They say, ah, oh, come on, man. Like, tell my man to drop the case, innit? Like, Obviously, we smacked him up in it, yeah? But the best we could do is give him back the bike, innit? Is tell him to drop the case and that, innit? So, anyway, I was like, all right, cool. I didn't think it was nothing. And obviously, the man, them know, man, innit? Like, they're my guy. Like, they're not my friends, friends, innit? But they're allies and that. Like, I've had beef and they've come with me to go and back my beef in a different area, innit? Yeah? So, they're not my friends, friends, but they're man's allies, innit? Yeah? Literally, if a man was moving to me on road, I, I would expect them to come and back me. Like, I wouldn't expect them to just walk past. Now, obviously, if there's 20 men with knives and that, then obviously. But if certain men are trying to move to me on road, I would expect them to back me. They're not even my friends like that, but we're all a part of the same gang. We're supposed to back each other's beef, innit? So they asked me, like, blood, I beg you go to my man's yard, innit? Because they knew I knew where the boy lived, innit? Yeah? And just ask him, like, to drop the case back and we'll drop the case and we'll get the bike back. So, boom, man's gone to the boy's mum's yard and just told... Uh, yeah, yo, tell your son to drop the case, innit? So, um, yeah, that was that. Then I must have bumped into his sister a couple times. Told her, yo, t tell tell your brother to drop the case and that. Next thing you know, I remember these times where I was going to college. We were going Hartford Regional College. And obviously right now I'm outside my mum's yard. I remember the door knocked at like 7 in the morning. I pulled my head out the window. I see two ununiformed white men. Police officers, I'm like, well, what's going on? They're like, yeah, British Transport Police um, let us in or whatever, innit? 
boom, they're basically arresting me for perverting the course of justice. So perverting the course of justice could be someone who's lying in court. And it could also be like trying to intervene in a case. Not witness intimidation per se, but I think that could come under it as well. But basically trying to intervene in the case, trying to tell the witness to drop the case, trying to tell the victim to drop the case. Although it ain't got nothing to do with me. It's not like I've been arrested. It's not I'm not breaching no bail conditions and that. So they nicked me for that. Eventually I went court for it and I got off lightly. I um I got a tag. I think I had to do some community service and that. But obviously in that time, man's got into madnesses and that, and man needed money. So I said, you know what, yeah, fuck the tag. I'm gonna cut off the tag and go country, make some money and come back. So man's cut off the tag now, gone country. There's all warrants out for my arrest. My mom's phoning me like, where are you? I'm like, I'm about in it, yeah. She was like, yeah, the police are here looking for you, innit? Yeah, they told me to tell you you need to surrender yourself at the, the nearest police station, innit? Yeah, as soon as possible. So um, gone country and that. Uh, got nicked in country. Got taken back from where I was outside of London uh, to Stratford. Not Stratford. Yeah, I think Stratford's got a police station and that. And I had to appear in court, got bail, and then I had to go back to... Um, Crown Court where I previously got sentenced for the tag and the community service and that so for the three or four counts of perverting the course of justice the reason why I actually went to jail was I knew I was going to go to jail anyway like you can't cut off a tag and that but the reason why the judge definitely said definitely was going to send me to jail definitely sent me to jail was because he was the person who sent sentenced me to having the tag and the community service he said to me I remember you I let you off lightly by giving you community service and blah, 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 and that, tag and that. And you violated the tag, you cut it off, you disrespect. So he's like, all right, that's it. You get a custodial sentence, isn't it? Yeah. Six months, but two of them are concurrent. So basically, man done four months, do two. So I was only in prison for two months. First of all, I went to ISIS, sorry, Felton for two weeks. Then they moved me to ISIS for the further six weeks and that. The reason why they sent me to Felton is because I think there was a couple of youths downstairs in um i was gonna say the dungeon it is like a dungeon in the holding cell and they was on the bus going back to felton so they put me on that bus but i'd already been sentenced felton's like a remand prison so when you haven't been sentenced and that you're on remand you, you go there so they sent me to felton was there for a couple of weeks met met one man went, went, met one of the man then from school in there then left went to isis for six weeks and yeah met more man that's how you know a man was on the wrong path. How can I go to, to prison, go to Felton, meet a man from school, then go to ISIS and meet three men that I know? Two of them were actually my friends at one point. Like, they were men that I could say were my friends. So, yeah, man. Perverting the course of justice. Don't get involved in that. Don't get involved in no other people's business and that. Man, ask you all do this. To nah, fam. I can't get involved, blood. I can't get involved. Yeah, I've got too much to lose, innit? And you know what, if you get into beef with them, then so be it. But you're better off doing that and standing your ground than getting in trouble and getting nicked over foolishness over things that ain't got nothing to do with you, blood. But yeah, man, that's it, man. Perverting the course of justice. It's no good, it's no good. Stay wise, done, though.